Welcome to Closet Confessions. Now, this week, we are talking spring dresses, floral dresses, things that make you get your legs out. And I've got a few little dresses here. This is one that I got from Ray, which is a matches label. And what I love about it is that sort of peekaboo back and a little bit of sexiness at the back, but the demureness at the front. And I love the print size. Print size is really crucial when you're looking at dresses because if the print is too big, it might wear you. And a great way to do that is you put on a dress and when you look in the mirror, you think, I see the print first or do I see myself first? If you see yourself first, you can wear the print. Also different textures. We always think heading up for summer, broderie anglaise and lace. Some of you might feel you want a long sleeve look, but I think that I was always told this missive by a really wonderful woman in her 80s. And she said to me, when you're in your 50s, you think I shouldn't get my arms out anymore. And when you're in your 70s, you think, I wish I had got my arms out in my 50s and my 60s. And maybe when you're in your 90s, you think the same about your 70s. It's about what goes on inside our head. It's not what other people see. When you're thinking, I want to hide away and it's summer, think about celebrating who you are today. So let's take a look now at some of my favorite spring summer dresses. Starting with it in its simple form. I really like this. All right, but I just want to make it sophisticated. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on a silk shoe. Just have that silver popping out the bottom. Yes. Then I'm going to take my cuffs from Tiffany. Now feels better. And I, I have to look and think why does it work? Because to me why it shouldn't work is there's a lot of print here and there's less print here and there's print going down. I like dresses when they place the print all around here mm -hmm. so it feels small and then the print goes out. So I would have loved if this was a dress that was more expensive, they would have maybe continued the print here and then it would have petered out. Yeah, because it's embroidered, isn't it? It's embroidered. So I am thinking, would I wear a belt with it? Can we really see the back? It's pretty. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the Diane von Fassberg, which the only thing I liked about this is the colour is very good yeah. and it brings some purpose to the shape and it makes it less high-waisted which will make it look more grown up the more high-waisted something is the less grown up it is so that to me being the same color as the base of the dress feels that i like the shape i love the shape it does look better that way doesn't yeah. it? yeah yeah this is print but it's sort of my idea of the perfect floral for me which is a little bit diffused it's matisse doing floral and I love this dress, and it's by um, it's Ray. It's Ray. And then at the back, it has a oh, really pretty gorgeous. thing. Gorgeous. And I love the length, it has pockets in it. I wear it with trainers. With this dress, I think what I like the most is I feel feminine in it, Lucy. Yes. And I feel pretty, but I don't feel I'm a flower. Do you think it's feminine because of the cut as well? I think it shows off the shape of my body in its most flattering feminine way because there's a broad shoulder mm -hmm. and my boobs are defined without being a cleavage. Yeah. It's got a waist at the right place and it gives me a hip that's defined. So I have a little bit of an hourglass in this mm -hmm. and that makes me feel feminine, I think. Now, this size of print, Yeah. Is this quite universal? Could anybody wear this? Yeah. So heavily patterned that it's stopped being a floral, which has maybe space in the background. That could be the difference between oh, when right. something goes from a floral to a pattern. I've seen you wear this dress with your hair up, and yes. I always thought it looked yeah, rather lovely. Because the fabric is so close to my neck. Mm -hmm. So the closer the fabric is to my neck everywhere, the more comfortable I feel to put my hair up because my neck ends here and you see lovely colour onto my complexion. Yeah, I do think it looks nice with your hair. Yeah. It's about the dress you can take to a wedding or to the races or somewhere, which to me is the sort of quintessentially, because I live in England, that sort of British summer, a little bit floral. You've got to be the kind of woman who can embrace that sense. I do love this kind of dress and you've got to be careful of the cut when you get to a certain, going down the path of life. But this is, was the H&M, which um, GMB Stavali did for H&M and I haven't worn it yet. And I remember getting it in Dublin when I was there. And I was thinking how to style it too. So, but the first principle, Lucy, I think is that lovely dress, which is not sexy because this is yeah. not about a sexy dress. It's just, it's elegant and it's sophisticated. I love it. I've got it with that Prada shoe on and I just felt because it because the dress is very busy I didn't want to put a really thick belt on it. I just felt also with the length I didn't want to take up too much room with the belt. So I yeah. went for a very very old dark green Marc Jacobs belt. I never oh. usually wear a belt this thin but I just thought is it better with a bit of darkness there 
or is it better like that? And I just felt it needed a bit of that definition. It stopped being so too wedding-y. Susanna gave me these earrings for my, I don't know which birthday, it wouldn't have been my 50th birthday, but it was when we were in India filming and I really admired them and, and, and they were actually quite expensive. And Susanna usually, she's fantastic because she doesn't spend that much money on herself, but she always would suddenly go the extra mile in, in gifts when she gave oh, me a present. God. And I love them and I like the greenery they pick up in it. And then I've got a little bit of Emily on my lip because I feel if I go too pinky and light, the dress looks a little bit like a souffle. So I need slight darkness in my lip. This is, I'll tell you this about this dress. Oh my God, I gotta wear it now. This dress was given to me for my birthday. I lost it. I just couldn't find it. And I kept looking through my cupboards and I couldn't find it. And I just thought all sorts of things had happened to it. I then remembered only um, when I was doing my clear out that I was so scared because it was a white dress that unlike all my other dresses, I put it in a suit hanger. And then I found it, it's by a liar. And I got rid of most of my liar, but this I will never get rid of. And you know, we're all scared, I think Lucy, about how to wear white so we don't get it dirty. I think that's one of the biggest things. And so, you know, I would just wear this and wear this. And oh, my makeup with this, by the way, I did a bit of desire with fortune and I did some Sasha. And generally when I wear white, I don't do a hugely smoky eye because it's such a neutrally tone on me that um, I don't want to overemphasize my eyes perhaps. I just want to keep everything fresh. So this is my fresh look and the earrings of those old J Crew. Okay, so this is from ASOS Design. I think what I love about the dress, it is quite busy. And I'd be tempted with its busyness, oddly, to put my hair back. Mm. So let me go Spanish Senorita. It is Spanishy. I I know it's got the cutouts, but you don't really notice straight away. No. And then you do and you're like, that's cool. The reasons I love it, in the summer when I go out and I'm abroad, you know when it gets really hot at night and you might be sitting in a restaurant, this is what happens to me, and I can get very overheated if I'm wearing any kind of non-breathable fabric. Yeah. And so I love the fact the air grows through it. It's long sleeves, so it protects me from the sun, but it's aeration on my body. It's like Broderie Anglais. Mm. And it moves well. And it's linen, which I never usually love. Shoes-wise, I'm doing the Robert Claire Chouy. Great lip. Good, isn't it, Demon? So good. I know, and I haven't worn it for so long. I'm going to wear it a lot more now. Okay, this is a dress, Lucy, I have not worn for years. It used to be called Hostetropia. Hostetropia, I think, and now it's called Utropia. But what was interesting, if you look at the history of this dress, because this shape of the sleeve and this neckline and the puff here is Aussie Clark, for sure, yeah. because I have that red Aussie Clark dress you love, and there's elements in this which are Aussie Clark. So everyone copies everyone, and that's fine, because everyone needs inspiration. But I got this dress, and I was at a time when I was comfortable being really deep cleavage, and I liked everything about the dress, but I think the sleeves were weird. You know our orangutan arms? Yes. They just didn't work. And I did a few things with the dress. It had no pockets, and I put pockets in. Mm -hmm. And it, it then got too small for me. You can see it's pulling here. It's popping open as I talk. <laughs> but there is a way that I can wear it still. So the way I wear it now is I wear it with these um, C'est la vie trousers and what's key do you remember we talked always Lucy about the height of the waist and the waist of something so for me to wear it with trousers underneath it's really important they're very high-waisted because this is a very high-waisted 70s look and I need to honor those two moments so that kind of does it for me and I don't mind the volume with the volume I think that works nicely and then probably with the sleeve I might just get a little like a, a hook and eye here and then let this fall over so I need to get that done, but that's just a better length for me. And I like things when they end at the waist, you know, cause yeah. it's just prettier. So this is my favorite floral dress. Yeah. And why is that? Oh, so many reasons. The color on its own might not be totally me, but I love the combination of these colors to make me feel, even if I have no makeup on, I feel my skin is good. I think the color is right by my neck. I've got satin on with it, which sort of brings that little element of the flower. But it's the shape as well, Lucy. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that with this, most of the time I wear a trainer. You know, it, it's got the shoulder pad. It's got a big sleeve. It's really good on my waist. Yes. It doesn't grab under my ass. So you don't know how long my legs are or how where they start. Yeah. I can put a cool, fun bag with it, like that little Comte de Gasson number, which just takes on the color of what you're wearing. Yeah. 
I'll literally, I'll run in the office and wear it, wear it, and then I'll wear it to a really smart evening dinner. For me, in my life, it's my most versatile dress that I can get up at 9 a.m. in the morning with trainers and wear it, and then I can put earrings on at night mm -hmm. and a heel and these big Indian earrings, and it's like my favourite dress. Yeah, and is that um, stretched on the arms? Oh, this, this is yes. like the elasticator. Yes. I've got to show it to you with the earrings, actually. So these earrings, mm. I love, I got them in India, so I might have gone from that day grungy look, and then I'll kind of, you know, put my hair up and um, have a high heel on. Bowden and Lucy, and this has more merit, maybe as an easier to wear. The waist, you'll notice, is a bit lower, and also there are, I hope, they've been clever enough pockets. <laughs> I, I I think what I love about this is I think the sleeve is incredibly thoughtful. Yes. How they've done it. With the Katinka, I love it because there's a certain topiness mm -hmm. and I've just lent into that as opposed to trying to do a bright pookie or pier. I just like that I've become tonal in it. Yeah, that's really yeah. lovely. Let's say you don't like to use a belt. All right, and you're the kind of person who sort of slightly tense yourself. So the dress might be a little bit more like that. Yeah. And if you have a bigger boob, you could just look a bit square. Yeah. What a crossbody would do on any kind of volume is it will give you the waist definition and it will lift and separate, it will separate your boobs. Oh. So instead of you feeling uni booby, it just gives something to give that kind of shape. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a flow to the dress. And would you still button it up to the neck? If you had boobs. Yeah. Depends on whether you like showing your cleavage on or not. Okay. You know, you could just, you could have it undone. You know, you could have <laughs> undone, you could do that with the dress. And make a v-neck, you know? Yeah. It's a really flexible dress. I hope you enjoyed it. And just, you know, the kind of message here is embrace the dress. It took me forever to embrace the dress. I always felt when I was in Trini and Susanna days that she wore the dresses and I wore the trousers. And um, I think it's good for us to experiment and challenge ourselves. So if you've never really got in love with dresses, I hope I've given you some inspiration of how to wear them. And you can go out and look in pre-love stores or wherever you choose to shop and think, okay, let me challenge myself and find a dress that I can love and pick out my wardrobe and it will be my go-to. I'm thinking next week of doing print clash because I love prints and I love clash. So if you would like to see that, let me know. But any other ideas of things too, let me know and leave it in the comments. Until next week, bye.